Hey guys, welcome back again to our LVA channel. So before we start with a new English lesson, let's make a quick reminder about this channel. So uh, this channel is dedicated to the students from 7th grade to the baccalaureate. Okay, And of course, you can visit our platform at www.lvaacademy.com. So to find more uh, courses, exercises, test samples, along with their correction. So let's get started with uh, a new lesson, which concerns 7th and 8th grade. Uh, today we're going to see how to make questions using do and verb to be. So, okay, let's start with questions with the auxiliary do. Okay, when we make questions in the present simple, we usually use do or does for almost every verb. Okay, and of course, do is mainly used with action verbs. Let's see examples. Do you practice sports? Does she go to school by bus? When do you do your homework? So, in these three questions, we use the auxiliary do. Okay, so of course, we use do with uh, I, you, we, and they. Does, we use it with he, she, and it. Okay, and of course, if we have a WH question, words, uh, it doesn't affect. Uh, the sentence. So we just put the WH question words at the beginning of the sentence, then we put do, then we continue with the sentence. So let's see uh, the rules in detail. So here, if we have a WH question, so of course, we, uh, it always comes at the beginning of the sentence, then we use do or does, plus subject, plus the main verb. Uh, a reminder, uh, the verb is always used in its base form, so the infinitive. After do or does, again, if we're talking about uh, the past simple, we use did. Again, with did, we use base form. Okay, so here we are talking about questions in the simple present. Okay, so in the simple present, when we want to make questions, using do or does the rule says that we have to use do or does plus subject plus infinitive let's see here in the example so this is do you is the subject practice is the main verb so we have already said that we use do mainly with action verbs okay so here practice go and do okay let's move on to questions using verb to be so if the verb to be is the main verb in the sentence we should use it instead of do so if we have a sentence containing verb to be there is no use to use do or does to me questions just we use that verb to be either is, or uh, am, we use it to make a question. So the rule here says, again, if we have a WH question word, so uh, in case you forgot, what are the WH question words? Uh, they are uh, why, when, wish, where, what, etc. So WH question words, those that start with WH, okay? Of course, and how again, how much of the W, like in Teba WH question words. So the rule here WH question words, if there is any, plus verb to be either am, is, or are, plus subject. Plus adjective or noun or verb plus ing, age, job here. Of course, 
If we're going to use verb plus ing here, we're talking about the present progressive. Okay? However, uh, our lesson is about the simple present questions in the simple present, uh, not the progressive. Let's see examples here. Are you happy? So, here we have verb to be. Of course, the subject you use are with you. Happy. Happy is an adjective. Again, we need to check the rule. We said here we can use adjective. Okay? Another example. Is he your brother? So, brother is a noun. Okay, so we have verb to be, subject, and noun. Now, if we're going to turn these questions into sentences, they should be like, you are happy. Okay? He is your brother. So, the affirmative sentence starts with subject. But if we're going to make a question out of that sentence, we take that auxiliary to be and put it at the beginning of the sentence and just a question mark at the end. And that's, that's all. We have a question. Uh, the third example is, is Tom an engineer? So here we have an occupation. If we're going to ask about a state of a person, is he... Uh, how is he? Is he happy, angry, sad? We use verb to be. If we're going to ask about uh, an occupation, we use verb to be. We don't use do, okay? Final example. Why is he angry? Or why is she angry? Again, we have an adjective. Angry is an adjective. So we have here a WH question word. Then verb to be plus subject plus uh, adjective, okay? So again, باش ما ندخلوش بعضنا ديما نكتبوا القاعده نكتبوا القاعده ونكتبوا تحت دي زيكزامبل ومن بعد احنا نحاولوا نخرجوا نعملوا جمل وحدنا باش ندربوا ديما في اول خطوه ديما نحطوا القاعده بحذينا باش ما ننساوش اوكي Now, let's practice now اوكي Let's recap. To make questions in the simple present, either we use the auxiliary to be. So to be is much more versatile. We can use it with adjectives, nouns, many things. If we have action verbs, we use uh, do or does. Now again, we can use verb to be with action verbs, but in the present progressive. So we can use. Uh, to be plus verb plus ing for example what are you doing so we have verb to be is an action verb but we should put it in the ing form which is a, a present progressive but today we are just talking about the simple present now let's take a look at this exercise turn these sentences into questions use be or do then make short answers so first of all we need to make question then answer that question with yes and no okay yes and no uh, in the form uh, of short answers okay we will see how to make short answers so first sentence tom is a great teacher this is an affirmative sentence now what did we say earlier? If we have an affirmative sentence and we have verb to be, we just take that auxiliary to be and put it at the beginning of the sentence. So, and of course, القادر شنو تقول? Verb to be plus, sub, uh, plus subject plus a noun or adjective or whatever. Okay, so we start with to be which is in the sentence we have is, is then the subject. Who is the subject here? Mr. Thompson. So, Mr. Thompson. When can we get the a great, a great teacher? 
Of course, we should not forget the question mark. Is Mr. Thompson a great teacher? So, the affirmative sentence. Mr. Thompson is a great teacher. The question, is Mr. Thompson a great teacher? Now, we have to answer with yes and no. Short question. Now, short question here. Yes, then Mr. Thompson, he is. Okay, so keep a short question. In Jibusa, yes, we all know. If a can yes, next boy yes, and bad, next the sujet liana, and if a can who a subject pronoun, Khalil Kim Mahua, if a can ana now, and would do subject pronoun. Anna, Mr. Thompson, Snow a subject pronoun, Eliaudu. Uh, he okay, so yes, he is. That's all. And they are listening to me. Short answer, Mish. Yes, he is a great teacher. No, that's false. Short answer, just psh, job, yes, hot to sujet, and bad is not. Uh, well, uh, he is okay. So, shufna, the first answer, yes, towel answer, no, no, he isn't. So, in negation, a jil here from the auxiliary to be. So, no, he isn't. Nam lo jumla okhra. They play video games in the evening. Here, we don't have verb to be. So, what shall we use? Of course, do or does. Kifish bish nafu bish nastakh dmu do or ala does. Mishufu la sujili anna. On a subject pronoun, they, ma they, we should use do not does again does. We use it only with he, she, and it. So do then plus subject do they. Un kamlo el main verb. Do they play video games in the evening? And Question mark, of course. Now, short answers. First of all, yes. بعد yes and put a subject. Subject pronoun. هنا عنا they حاضرة ما غير ما نحاولوها. So yes, they. لهنا ما دام عنا do بس نجيب وبدو. الجملة لولانية عنا verb to be استعملناها في ال 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 short answer. لهنا ما عنا شيء verb to be استعملنا. Do, donc, do. Yes, they do. Okay. Answer now with no. No, they do. Hadika, pshurduha, manfia. Shush, fishwali. No, they don't. Okay. That's how we make short answer with yes. Or no. Now let's see final sentence. The class starts at eight o'clock. Again, we don't have verb to be, so we need to use do or does. So here the subject, the class. The class is singular. We can uh, use it instead. So we can say does. Or if we need to, to ask about the time, we can use when. It is optional here. خاطر في السؤال مت مطلوب منا جست بش نستعملو verb to be or do. Okay, so it is optional. ما دام هني عنا نسأل على الوقت. We can use the wh question word which is when. So again, it is optional. We should put it between parentheses. And then, the when does now the subject, the class start. Okay, and how she starts? Then if you have a simple present, simple present, singular noun, the class, you can see the does. We have already said that after do, does, uh, even did in the past, we don't 
uh, add an S. The verb should stay in the infinitive form. So, does the class start at uh, here? Either we use when does the class start or does the class start at 8 o'clock? We have two options. Okay, so now we need to answer yes. Okay, so كتبنا yes وتا وبش نحطو a subject pronoun. نعمنا الكلاس نعوضوها it. Yes, it does. إذا كان الانسر no, no. It doesn't. As simple as that. Okay? So, let's repeat again. The class starts at 8 o'clock. Does the class start at 8 o'clock? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. الجملة اللي عنا using verb to be. Is Mr. Thompson a great teacher? Yes, he is. No, he no, he isn't. So that's how we make short answers uh, using to be and uh, uh, do in the present tense. So that's all for today, guys. I hope this lesson was clear enough. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.